Okay, guys, here we go. This is a battleship. USS Wisconsin, to be exact. That's right. Quite the impressive naval ship. Launched December 7th, 1943, out of Philadelphia. And uh, I'm going on it. That's right. Sixteen inch guns. Wait, sixteen inch guns is that? Sixteen inch guns. Hey guys, Dean of DVD. I want to take a closer look at a Criterion Collection uh, collection. It's called America Lost and Found, the BBS story, and it really is seven different movies. Head, Easy Rider, Five Easy Pieces, Drive He Said, A Safe Place, The Last Picture Show, and The King of Marvin's Gard Marvin Gardens. Uh, all of these are late 60s, early 70s movies. All of them take place in the United States or in America, and all of them represent uh, or have in them characters who represent rebellion, kind of the anti-social aspect of, of life. Uh, in most cases, young people uh, who kind of rebel against society. They're, different, they're a different type of person than mainstream, to say the least. And... Uh, some really great actors and actresses in these movies. I'm going to take a look at uh, this box set. Um, BBS. It's, it's actually it's the BBS story, America Lost and Found. So, uh, here's the spine. There's the back. Here's some information on each of the movies here. Really interesting, uh, really interesting collection here. I, I like I say, I wanted this for for some time. Here's the uh, view with the movies in them. You've got Head, Easy Rider, Five Easy Pieces, Drive. He said, and a safe place on the same disc. The last picture showing that it's harder to read, but the last one is the King of Marvin Gardens there, and these are spine numbers. Get that in focus. 544, 545, 546, 547, and 548, 549, and 550. So seven different films, all Criterion Collection films, and all having the theme of America, rebellion, and being shot in the late 60s and early 70s. So first of all, let's take a look at the booklet that comes with this. It's quite extensive. It's over 100 pages long. Uh, it's America Lost and Found, the BBS story. And you can see the thickness of this thing. I mean, it's 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 excessively thick. Maybe not excessively, but it's definitely thick. Picture of uh, Jack Nicholson there and Julie Christie in one of the uh, from one of the movies. I believe that's from uh, Five Easy Pieces. Sybil Shepherd, young Sybil Shepherd, want her uh, movie debut. And get America, lost and found. Peter Fonda. Um, Easy Rider. Dennis Hopper directed that. Mm, I'm not 100% sure that is actually. Not sure that is. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head who that is. It's not Jack Nicholson. It's not Dennis Hopper, I don't think. Uh, there's Jack Nicholson, though. 
decent shot there. First movie in, in the uh, collection is Head. Uh, Head is uh, probably one of the only psychedelic movies ever made in the United States. Uh, truly psychedelic movie. And it tells the story of, uh, well, it, it features the monkeys. That would be the late 60s uh, group. They were also called the uh, Prefab Four, reference to the Beatles. I'm going to skim through some of this, but you can get an idea for some of the pictures that are in here. Yeah. Good stuff. I mean, in this movie, it, it's, it satirizes uh, war, government. Uh, there's, there's references to drugs in it. Uh, really just kind of an interesting, uh, interesting movie. I haven't seen it in a lot of years, but uh, of course got music in it from the monkeys, so should be an interesting, should be an interesting piece. You know, the picture was Dennis Hopper. Anyway, here's uh, Easy Rider. Dennis Hopper up the top there with the mustache. Peter Fonda. These, I haven't seen these yet. I've, of course, I've seen the original movies, but these are supposed to be really uh, well-restored movies. And I believe that that's probably the case. Well, these pages are yellow, by the way, uh, on purpose. Actually, easier on the eyes and bright white. Five Easy Pieces. Classic, classic movie. Jack Nicholson there. Scene from the movie there with Jack Nicholson and Karen Black. This is one of his earlier roles, Jack Nicholson's roles, and really beca he became a star between uh, Easy Rider and Five Easy Pieces. This is a last, last picture show, uh, Peter Bogdanovich's uh, black and white movie. Jeff Bridges, Timothy Bottoms, and Sybil Shepard star in this one. And Cloris Leachman. Takes place in Texas. And really kind of concentrates in, in on the, uh, the story of these three right here. I have never seen The King of Marvin's Gardens. I, I of Marvin Gardens. I know essentially what it's about. Uh, Bruce Stern and Jack Nicholson play uh, brothers who go to Atlantic City and get caught up in some uh, unsightly activity, which leads to some tragic events. That's about all I know about it. Jack Nicholson obviously playing kind of more of a straight-laced role here. From what do we see him in later movies? One, one, uh, one uh, big real place, BBS from Head to Hearts. It's an article, obviously. Talks about a lot of different movies here. Just going to flip through some of this. A lot of reading here. As with a lot of the Criterion collection, uh, you get an awful lot of information. And then each movie uh, is then taken in turn with the cast. Each cast is laid out, and there's for Easy Rider, Five Easy Pieces. Uh, Drive, he said, which is actually um, Jack Nicholson's uh, directorial de debut. And it's a story of basketball, as I remember. 
and also uh, Safe Place, another movie with Jack Nicholson in it. The Last Picture Show and The King of Marvin Garden. So, really, he's got an awful lot of information. A beautiful booklet, which I'm sure I'll be looking through. And now on to the uh, the movies themselves. And what we've got here. So each one of these movies comes in its own separate sleeve. And I'll start with Head. Uh, 1986, or I'm sorry, 1968. 85 minutes long, so in color, and a 1.78 to 1 aspect ratio. Of course, it's the Blu ray edition. A lot of special features on this. I think you can see some of those. Rare interview with the monkeys. Basically what it says is, uh, hey, hey, it's the monkeys being catapulted through one of American cin cinema's most serial 60s odysseys. Mickey Dolan's Davy Jones, Michael Nesmith, and Peter Tork become trapped in a kaleidoscopic satire. That's movie homage, media send-up, concert movie, and anti-war cry all in one. Had dodged commercial success on its initial release, but has since been reclaimed as one of the great cult objects of the era. So... <clears throat> Interesting stuff. You've got uh, Frank Zappa in this movie, Annette Funicello, Victor Mature, Sonny Liston, uh, heavyweight champion of the world, or was the heavyweight champion of the world. And this was shot, uh, Muhammad Ali was the heavyweight champion of the world at that point. But uh, interesting, interesting movie, directed by uh, Bob uh, Rafelson. Inside, you've got, and, and all these follow similar patterns. You've got a psychedelic looking uh, um, disc with the, uh, about the glare, the C there for criterion on the, on the disc itself. And then uh, pretty close up there of someone's head. Quite appropriate since it's called head. And then on the other side, just get that back in there. There we go. On the other side, it uh, talks a little bit about the transfer itself, and all the chapters are listed. I'm really looking forward to seeing the head. There's the front. And the spine, I think you saw that earlier. It was in the box. And again, it's uh, 544 is the uh, number there. There we go. I'm looking forward to that. That's head. Next is Easy Rider. Kind of a cool look there. Got the flag in the background on the road. Each one of these uh, sleeves has a much different look. There's pretty sturdy cardboard on these. It's thick. I don't see it bending easily. On the inside, you've got the disc. A couple of motorcycle riders here in the background. And you've got, uh, yeah, Dennis Hopper's face there. The late Dennis Hopper. Hard to believe he's dead, but he is. You get inside the chapters and about the transfer. You want to put some detail on the transfer. Uh, it was done in the back. <clears throat> it, this is, uh, of course, Blu ray, 1969, 95 minutes. It's in color, it's monoral sound, 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio. And a lot of special features on this one, as you can see. Two audio commentaries, one with Dennis Hopper, uh, and uh, actor-writer Peter Fonda, the production manager Paul Lewis. Uh, had a lot of uh, interesting uh, uh, rock soundtrack songs in this, according to, uh, including Born to be Wild. So a lot, of, a lot of interesting things on this one. If you haven't seen Easy Rider, it's a great, great uh, movie about a couple of guys that are going cross-country on, on a journey. Um, really interesting stuff and a, and a really good movie, Easy Rider. Next, Five Easy Pieces, Jack Nicholson, um, another film by Bob Rafelson. Uh, there's a picture there on the desk. 
And nice close up of uh, Jack Nicholson there in the background. Again, about the transfer and the chapters on the inside. In the back, we've got quite a few extras on this one as well. Audio commentary. Um, 2009 video piece with Bob Rafelson. Uh, the BBS story, a 2009 documentary about the BBS era with Rafelson, actors Jack Nicholson, Karen Black, and Ellen Burstyn. And directors Peter Bogdanovich and uh, Henry Jaglum, among others. Good stuff. Uh, this is uh, Oil Rigger, former uh, piano prodigy, uh, who uh, returns to his childhood home to see his alien estranged father, his blue collar girlfriend, uh, with him. And it's his simplicity, gritty, really uh, shows you a lot about uh, the 70s American alienation that was taking place. So, interesting picture there with him in the back of a truck playing the piano. Five easy pieces. Great movie. Next, uh, Drive, he said, which is about basketball, and then A Safe Place. Totally uh, two different movies. Don't know a lot about either one. Obviously, the, the video uh, centers in on uh, Drive, he said, which is the basketball movie with Jack Nicholson directing. And uh, don't know a lot about that picture there. Could be the uh, a safe place. Don't know a lot about this movie, <clears throat> but again, it talks about the transfers, two different, uh, <clears throat> two different uh, chapters for the two different movies, and then on the back, it's two of the most overlooked films of the BBS era. Probably said in a safe place are daring personal character studies, and the directorial debut debuts of uh, Jack Nicholson and Henry Jaglum. Nicholson's feverish snapshot of the early 70s concerns a disaffected college basketball player and his increasingly radical roommate. In Jaglum's delicate fantasy lace drama, Tuesday Wells stars as a fragile young woman in New York, unable to reconcile her ambiguous past with her unmoored present. present. Orson Wells also appears and disappears as a Central Park magician. Uh, Drive, he said, is uh, 90 minutes long, a color, monoral. And, and Safe Place is 92 minutes, and also Color Mineral. Both are in a 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio. And quite a few, again, special features, as you'd expect. A lot of different video interviews, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of stuff on this. And you can pause it if you'd like. I think you can read that pretty okay if you want to see all the different things that are on there. A lot of stuff in this one. Last picture show, Peter Bogdanovich. Uh, again, 549. This was 547, 548, by the way. Uh, last picture show. There's the inside. Shows the car. Uh, Timothy Bottoms and Sybil Shepherd. Again, the C for Criterion on there. In the back, I'll let you take a look at the special features. Again, this is a portrait of the Dying West, focusing on the daily shuffles of uh, three futureless teens, Sonny, Dwayne, and J.C. J.C.'s uh, Civil Shepherd. The aging lost souls who bump up against them in the night like drifting tumbleweeds. And the last picture show does remain the pivotal film in the career of the uh, director and film historian Peter Bogdanovich. Also had a partner uh, as a psychiatrist in uh, The Sopranos. So I think you can see the special effects there, or, or special uh, edition features, I should say there. Not a lot of special effects in any of these movies, but all classics. And finally, The King of Marvin Gardens, one I haven't seen. I referenced it earlier. Another film by Bob Rafelson, uh, another one with Jack Nicholson in it. There's uh, Alan Burstyn. You can see these late 60s, 70s uh, movie stars uh, were... You know, in a lot of these movies, Jack Nicholson, uh, we've seen Ellen Burstyn in a couple, Bruce Stern was in a couple, so uh, this one is uh, 104 minutes, color, monoral, 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio, a bunch of special edition features, yeah, and he, uh, Jack Nicholson plays a depressive late night talk show host, and uh, Bruce Dern plays an extroverted con man 
who drags his younger brother into a dreary Atlantic City and into a real estate scam, real estate scam, and events spiral toward tragedy. So those are the special edition features, and that is a quick, well, not not so quick, but a, a, a thorough look at uh, BBS story, Lost and Found, America. Uh, really looking forward to seeing some of these movies. They are classics. Uh, they are supposedly uh, uh, really well restored. Criterion does an excellent job of, of getting all the little particles and dust and um, specks of whatever off these off these old films, making them look brand new. So uh, my guess is these are going to look as good as they did when they were in the theater. And I'm really looking forward to to kind of checking these seven movies out. Um, probably going to start with Head. And uh, I'll, I'll give a brief overview of some of these if you're interested. Once I start watching, I can let you know more about picture quality and so on. But this is just a great set. You know, if you like if you like uh, alienation type movies and, and people rebelling against society and so on, you can't beat the stories that are here in this uh, America Lost and Found, the BBS story. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, Dean of DVD. Take care. Have a good night.